friends welcome to my channel my name is wolo when you see me smile like this just know i have a good news and i have um a good information for people and this information is for my bilingual friends and i'm hoping that at least one or two three persons will come to canada come to manitoba using this means and this good news is for the bilingual people so if you're a bilingual person or you know somebody who is bilingual you know somebody who can speak French and the person is trying to immigrate to Canada, please share this video with them. I encourage you, please don't hold on to information. Share information with people that it will be beneficial to, even if it's not going to be beneficial to you. At least you should be able to know one, two, three, four, ten percent that the information will be beneficial to. So this is for bilingual people and um, it's for Manitoba Provincial Nomination Program. So... A lot of people have this understanding that with Manitoba, you need a connection. Yes, it's true. You actually need a connection in the form of a sibling or a friend or a relative that can support your application if you want to immigrate to Manitoba. But there are also other opportunities of immigrating to Manitoba without a Manitoba connection. So if you don't have any Manitoba connection at all and you are a bilingual person, you have written your IELTS or you have written the TEF or the TCF and you know you can speak and communicate in French, then this opportunity is for you. And the Manitoba government in partnership with an organization called CDEM, I think it's, um, I have to read it out, Conseil de Développement Économique des Municipalités Bilingues du Manitoba. That's in French. So Manitoba government in partnership with CDEM uh, are going to invite people to come to Manitoba for an exploratory visit. Now, if you are bilingual, this is when you take advantage of it because opportunity for you to complete, um, to fill out the forms and send in your application for the exploratory visit is now open. It opened November 15th, 2019, which is, it was op opened on Friday. So, and the duration for which it's going to be open is for a very short while because there's a lot of demand for this. And uh, I want people who have subscribed to this channel, my friends who are francophone people who are bilingual. I know I've received a lot of emails from bilingual people, um, people in Cameroon, people in um, um, France. Yes, people in Cameroon, people in France. Please, if you know you are part of this group of people and you are bilingual, I want you to take advantage of it. So I'm going to show you shortly on the website, on the Manitoba government website, what you should do and the criteria and in summary of it it's the, it requires that you need to be bilingual you will fill the form online and then um, the cdam will look at your profile and invite you for exploratory visit to manitoba so you will actually come to manitoba another requirement is your occupation must be on the occupation in demand list in manitoba for you to be um uh, to be selected for the exploratory visit then another criteria is the language criteria which i've already talked about you have need to have your ielts or your tcf ready or tef ready and then the fourth criteria is your educational qualifications so it doesn't matter what educational qualifications you have if you have a high school certificate and you have evaluated your credential according to the Canadian standard using any, any of the evaluating bodies like WES or ICAS or CES, then you have met the criteria and you must be within the age of 21 to 45 years. So in summary, you should be bilingual, speaking English and French. You must have written IELTS and TCF or TEF and you should not have any connection to Canada. Uh, you don't have any relative in Canada. Your occupation is in the demand list. So once you have this criteria, you can fill the form and then submit it. They will now select the people that are eligible and invite you to come to Canada, come to Manitoba for an exploratory visit. Once you do the exploratory visit, you will now be interviewed by an immigration personnel after your interview with the immigration personnel that's within the government of manitoba after your interview with immigration personnel you will now be able to put in your expression of interest for a provincial nomination from the manitoba government they will give you a code 
after your uh, after the interview if you're successful they will give you a code with which you will fill your expression of interest for the provincial nomination and then you get a provincial nomination and you are in manitoba without any connection so i'll be showing you shortly on the website what to do where to go at some point i'll have to speak in french that's because some of the um, requirements are in french and please share this video to any bilingual person there are lots of bilingual people i am also bilingual i'm from nigeria but i studied french as my first degree and um, that's why i'm able to speak in french and english and all that so i will show you shortly what to do and please take advantage of this opportunity to find information about immigrating to manitoba without a connection um you come to the immigrate manitoba website which is www.immigratemanitoba.com when you scroll down you'll find details about news and announcements because the focus is on the francophone exploratory visit applications um this is where i'm going to stop here instead of scrolling down for all the information i'll focus on this so the manitoba provincial nominee program is accepting requests from bilingual francophone candidates for exploratory visits to the province which will be supported by cdem to help prospective immigrants establish stronger ties to francophone communities and local economic opportunities these pre-arranged visits allow potential skilled worker applications to research employment opportunities and communities to help them make an informed decision whether to relocate to manitoba you can click here to read more information um when you click here it's going to take you to the news release about this um, strategic program which you will find more details about you can take time to read it and then um i'll go back to the page Individuals who meet the eligibility criteria for an exploratory visit to Manitoba can submit their application here. So I will click here and it will take me to the page itself, which is already in French. At this point, I'll have to switch to the French language because it is written in French. And I'm going to read it out for people who are bilingual to understand and take advantage of it. So this program started. 15th of november which was just last week friday and if you know you're a bilingual person you can communicate both in english and in french and you've written your ielts you have also written your tcf um, i encourage you to visit this page and also put in your application so i'm going to read in french here and um it says visit exploratoire en vigueur depuis le 15 novembre 2019 Les travailleurs qualifiés francophones à l'étranger qui n'ont pas de lien au Manitoba ont l'opportunité de soumettre le profil en ligne afin d'obtenir un entretien avec un agent de PCM. La visite exploratoire dans le cadre du volet stratégique francophone des travailleurs qualifiés à l'étranger est organisée en partenariat avec le Conseil de développement économique, de, économique des municipalités bilingues du Manitoba. Qu'est-ce qu'une visite exploratoire La visite exploratoire est une façon pour les travailleurs étrangers qualifiés d'acquérir ce lien nécessaire avec la province en y venant pour se renseigner sur les possibilités offertes par le marché du travail et la communauté franco-manitobaine. À la fin de la visite exploratoire, un entretien est prévu avec un agent d'immigration du PCM suite à l'entretien avec l'agent d'immigration. Si votre candidature a été retenue, vous recevrez une lettre d'invitation à présenter une déclaration d'intérêt. La permission d'entreprendre une visite exploratoire est offerte à l'entière discrétion du PCM. Elle dépend des besoins du programme, de la disponibilité du personnel et de la capacité du candidat à s'établir financièrement au Manitoba selon les critères d'admissibilité. En raison du grand nombre de demandes, les périodes d'acceptation sont limitées. Pour présenter une déclaration de terrain au programme par l'entremise du volet Invitation au Manitoba, vous devez fournir votre numéro d'invitation figurant sur la lettre d'invitation à présenter une déclaration d'intérêt reçue après avoir 
rencontré un agent d'immigration du programme. Voyez noter que cette lettre ne garantit pas une décision en votre faveur si vous présentez une demande. Les critères pour la visite d'explorateur au Manitoba. Vous avez entre 21 et 45 ans. Vous avez terminé au minimum un programme d'enseignement ou un programme de formation postsecondaire d'une durée d'un an et vous avez obtenu un diplôme ou un certificat. Vous avez occupé un poste professionnel à temps plein pendant au moins deux ans au cours des cinq dernières années et vous avez au moins six mois d'expérience continue à temps plein dans une profession sur la liste des emplois en forte demande au Manitoba ou dans le domaine de, des médias et communication de l'éducation et formation au niveau primaire, secondaire et universitaire. Vous possédez au moins le niveau 5 du niveau de compétences linguistiques canadiennes dans chacune des quatre compétences de test d'évaluation du français, les résultats de tests d'évaluation du français ou des tests de connaissance du français sont nécessaires. Voyez noter que NCL 5, 6 ou 7 sont une exigence pour certaines professions. Le PCM est convaincu que vous n'avez pas de lien plus fort d'autres provinces canadiennes et qu'il y a de fortes chances que vous que vous, vous installerez au Manitoba de manière permanente. Posez des fonds liquides qui équivalent aux exigences de ces de faibles revenus pour les ressources financières indépendantes pour une période de six mois. Avant l'entretien, un responsable de PCM accepte d'avoir une entrevue avec vous au cours de votre visite exploratoire. Donc, si vous avez le temps, vous pouvez lire tout ça dans cette page. Et si vous avez beaucoup de questions ou vous, si vous voulez plus d'informations sur ça, vous pouvez envoyer un courriel ou communiquer avec le PCM avec l'adresse électronique. Donc, j'ai beaucoup lire en français. Hein? Moi, j'ai déjà fatigué. Si tu veux soumettre votre profil et remplir le formulaire, tu dois cliquer ici. Dans cette page, vous voyez le formulaire de demande de visite exploratoire et vous devez remplir ce formulaire parce qu'il est nécessaire de remplir le formulaire. Et il y a cinq facteurs. Le premier, c'est l'âge. Le deuxième, c'est l'étude. Le troisième, c'est l'expérience de travail. Le quatrième, c'est la maîtrise de la langue. Le cinquième, c'est l'adaptabilité. Donc, il ne faut pas perdre de temps à remplir ce formulaire parce qu'il y a beaucoup de demandes. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui cherchent ce lien à venir ou immigrer au Manitoba. Il ne faut pas perdre de temps. Et je t'encourage à remplir ce formulaire très vite. Et si vous êtes accepté pour une interview, le CDM va vous communiquer. Ici, c'est la page de CDM. Et si vous avez le temps, il faut venir à cette page et lire le mandat de CDM. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video to all your bilingual friends and don't be, um, how do I call it? Don't be stingy with information. Share this information to your bilingual friends. And see you in my next video. I'm, although I'm supposed to talk about the um, rare and other immigration pilot for the the last one, which will be in my next video. It was supposed to be this video, but this video is time bound, and I want people to take advantage of it. That's why I quickly said, let me do this video so that people don't miss out on this opportunity. So see you in my next video, and I'll be talking about the rural and other immigration pilot, and that will be for the remaining. Uh, the fifth um, community, which is um, Rhineland, Gretna, Altona, and Plum Kule, um, they are in Manitoba, and I'm supposed to take a trip there. Don't mind me. I'm supposed to take a trip there so that you can see what the community is like. Uh, but if I don't take a trip there, I will definitely do it some other time. So please bear with me. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.